Hey guys, what's up? It's DJ, and today is your lucky day if you guys are joining us for the first time, because today, right Scout? Today is the day that you guys discovered Student Physician Network, all right? And you guys don't know what Student Physician Network is? This is the network that is going to get you into medical school. This is the, this is the resource for you guys. We are all student physicians, even if we already have an MD. We're all learning, we're all trying to be better ourselves, and this is where we're gonna go, so let's go take out the world. All right guys, this is DJ here. Again, like I said, this is Student Physician Network. Today, we are going to be talking about what is the best paid summer internship for undergraduates to get into medical school and dental school, okay? So, bear with me. Copyright. Well, boys, these are these are my roommates. That's Lane. He's gonna be a financial advisor. Hit him up if you want to do some investing. Ryan, my man's gonna be a doctor too. Yep. And then Anthony, this is YouTube. Oh. Say hi to YouTube. Anthony's gonna be the freaking legend. Okay, I don't even want to go. I don't even talk about it. He's the dude's going to Harvard. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet, but maybe. Alright, the best paid internship that I have done is SMDEP, but it is now called SHPEP, SHPEP. And it stands for Summer Health Professions Education Program. And this, let me tell you guys, this is a great internship. It's done in about 15 different uh, medical centers. Yale, UCLA, Nebraska Medical Center, um, uh, there's there's a couple more I'm pulling a blank on them right now, but really big name schools and let me tell you you take if you get accepted into this internship and you spend your summer there they will uh, They will guarantee you an interview at your college. Okay at the college you apply to that guarantees an interview So that is kind of my in to get into UNMC. That's how I got in there Well, not not really how I got in but like that guaranteed me a spot to to at least sell myself to the, the admissions board so basically, the applications are uh, probably about due right about now, so if you've missed the deadline, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to wait till next year. This internship is for upcoming sophomores and juniors, okay? So if you've finished your freshman year of college or your sophomore year of undergraduate college, then apply for these internships. And you can just Google them, uh, SHPEP, and then the applications on AMCAST or whatever. So basically, this internship starts in June, and it's a six-week program. You get a $600 stipend and up to $450 paid in travel expenses. So it's not a terrible lot amount of money, but it's good enough to, you know, at least get some kind of money instead of paying to go somewhere. It, um, so basically, what the days look like is you take classes from 8 a.m. to 4:30 p.m. and have workshops in the afternoon, and basically. Uh, some of the some of the schools give you credit college credit for taking this internship but others do not UNMC did not but it was a great way to prep you for your MCAT or DAT and It's just, it's a great way to get into school it you I, I mean I spent the summer you know getting getting classes meeting connections I met I met this lady she's a she's an african-american woman and she's the only African-American woman that is specializes in kidney transplants and she's the she's the best in the nation and I met her at Nebraska Medical Center and um, what I want you guys to know is uh, it's just a great way to make connections I met so many doctors and so many people and so many med students there that are uh, now connections for me and I had the opportunity to shadow a couple of surgeries uh, I shadowed a neurosurgery Dr. Gard thanks my man he's the best um, he did a eight-hour procedure on this left temporal lobe 
of this um, on this 40 year old woman and removed a two inch diameter tumor. And I swear guys, I didn't think that they did this kind of stuff. I thought it was like some kind of sci-fi stuff or like stuff you would see at a huge, like like Harvard or whatever, but nope, you're, they're doing it right here in Nebraska, removing brain tumors. And it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. He, he peeled back the scalp and the scalp's surprisingly really thick. It's like, it's like a quarter inch thick. Like you wouldn't expect your scalp to be that thick. And then he removed the, the skull and you could see the dura mater on top of the brain and the brain was pulsating through the skull. And it was just it was it was just so cool guys I really recommend you guys getting in there but the other one I saw was a uh, this guy was taking out blood clots on a brachial artery for uh, this gentleman who was he gets dialysis through the tubing in his arm and it kept clotting so they had to go back in and remove this blood clot and oh gosh it was so gross uh, the nurse was like hey, showing me like what they were getting it was like a little pebble and I was just like oh that's just a blood clot yeah and then all of a sudden you see uh, Dr. Baxter the vascular surgeon go in with this little snake thing it's like a really long tube and it's got a little bubble on the end of it and you blow up the bubble and you just pull out all the gunk in there and he just yanked on this brachial artery and just pulled out a huge worm of a freaking blood clot and it was the biggest freaking blood clot I've ever seen in my life and it was so cool, so cool. It made me want to be a freaking surgery junkie. I just want to cut people open. <laughs> not, not really, but it did open my eyes to surgery because I didn't think I could do it. But watching those two surgeries, it it's really made me consider surgery. I mean, what a what an adrenaline rush. And I wasn't even performing the surgeries, and I was I was on a I was on a rush, a, just a rush. But anyway. So the other things you get to do at this internship, we went to the College World Series. Uh, we went swimming, I just hung out. I met so many people all across the nation. There was, uh, I think, I, I really don't, I think it was like 100 people, my 150 people, 100 people. And no, no, it was 84 people, 84 people. And 20 of them were from Nebraska and the other 60 were all over the United States. I have people all over the United States for that, okay? So I really highly recommend you guys checking this internship out. Um, it's it's just the best. But like I said before, it, it's very competitive. There's uh, there was uh, for all the programs. Uh, sorry, it's my friends over there. For all the programs, it's uh, there were 1,200 applicants and only 150. Or no, 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 no. For all of the locations, there were 12,000 applicants and only 600 of them got chosen. So it was like a less than 8%, 8% acceptance rate. It's harder to get into that than medical school. So hey guys, we're gonna go do try to do some backflips. Check them out, all right? What up my future physicians? This is DJ and my sister, Desiree. All right, so I got a little more advice to you from what I was talking about yesterday. Never, ever drink alcohol, okay? That's that's if you're gonna get anything out of this channel that's what I want you to understand don't you drink alcohol because you're gonna wake up the next day with the biggest hangover in your life and you're gonna regret it just like me right right Desiree tell him right he did the most what did I do last night the most the most he did everything <laughs> everything it's not good okay so just a little update we're going to Walmart we're gonna get some shit I'm not gonna film all that stuff because you probably get bored and unsubscribe or something so just keep following my advice. Remember, check out that internship, uh, SMDEP or SHPEP, and you guys will be golden, all right? And just letting you know, oh. the older that you get, the worse your hangovers get. There you go. Don't drink as a med student, and don't drink as a doctor and perform surgery drunk, because you'll go to prison. So don't do that. All right, we'll catch you guys later. Student Physician Network out.